My name is Faith, and this is my capstone for exercise physiology. For the warm-up, we will perform jump squats, lunges with a twist, walking bear hugs, and modified jumping jacks. We will repeat this routine twice in order to get the full and proper warm-up. To perform a modified jumping jack, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, Abduct your legs and arms at the same time to each side. Land on your toes using plantar flexion and then in the same motion, adduct your arms and legs back down to the starting position. Then abduct your legs out to the side, hyperextending your arms back behind your back while adducting your legs again. Repeat this alternating your arms extending over your head and hyperextending behind your back. Do five modified jumping jacks after each warm-up exercise. To perform a lunge twist, start with your feet shoulder width apart, take a big step forward using flexion of the leg at the knee, and lower the body until it is parallel to the floor. Make sure your knee does not go past your toe. As you are in a lunge position, use flexion of the arm at the elbow, holding your arm's chest high. Laterally, medially, rotate your trunk from side to side, bring your back foot up to the starting position, and with the opposite foot, repeat these steps. Now you will complete a modified jumping jack, following by running back to the start line. To perform a jump squat, start with your feet shoulder width apart. Slightly flex your leg at the knee in a squat position. At the bottom of the squat, fully explode straight out, jumping as far as you can in front of you, landing in the same squat position as you started in. Follow the jump squats with a modified jumping jack, then run back to the starting line. The last warm-up exercise is walking bear hugs. Abduct your arms at the same time while performing flexion of the arm at the elbow and grabbing your back, like you're hugging yourself. Then hyperextend your arms back behind your back. Now you will perform a modified jumping jack then run back to the starting line. This workout is a circuit training workout using stabilization, strength, and power. Each exercise will be done for one minute with a 30 second rest period. Hip raisers, weighted deadlifts, BOSU ball bench presses, push-ups, donkey kicks, mountain climbers, side to side, and box jumps will be performed. To perform hip raisers, lay flat on the ground. Bring your knees up using flexion of the leg at the knee so your feet are flat on the ground. Put your hands flat beside you. Raise your butt up and down at a steady pace to complete this exercise. To perform weighted deadlifts, use your weighted bar, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Flex at the trunk to pick up the weighted bar, then extend your trunk again to come back up. To avoid injury, keep your back straight and do not lift more than you can. Repeat this for one minute. To perform a BOSU ball bench press, use a BOSU ball. Put the top part of your back on the ball while using flexion of the leg at the knee with both feet on the ground. Using two dumbbells with weight of your choice, flex your arm at the elbow and extend your arm straight up with the weights in your hand. Then flex your arm at the elbow until you are at a 90 degree angle. Repeat this for one minute. To perform a push up, start with your hands flat on the ground with your hands under your shoulders with your fingers pointed directly away from you. Your feet should be placed where it is comfortable for you, apart or together. Flex your arms at the elbows and drop your chest towards the floor, keeping your body flat and parallel to the ground. After your arm reaches a 90 degree angle, extend your arms and put yourself back up, then back down to the starting position. Repeat this for one minute. To perform donkey kicks, start with both your hands and your knees on the floor. You're going to extend your right leg and your left arm straight out in front of you and behind you. Return both arms and legs to the starting position and continue with the same motion with the opposite arm and leg. To perform mountain climber twists, start in push-up position with your arms extended and under your shoulders. Keep your body flat and parallel to the ground while completing this exercise. 
Use flexion of the leg at the knee and bring one leg as close to your chest as possible. Immediately rotate your trunk. Bring your leg to the opposite side of your body. Repeat this with the opposite leg. To perform side-to-side -side step ups using a step up bench or a box, start by standing on one side. Abduct your leg closest to the box on top of the box. Adduct your opposite leg on top of the box as well. Then abduct your leg off of the box onto the opposite side. When your foot touches the ground, adduct your foot back onto the box. And with the opposite foot, abduct it onto the other side of the ground and adduct it back onto the box. This should be in a smooth rhythm. The last exercise is box jumps. Using a high box that you're comfortable with, start with your feet shoulder width apart. Use slight flexion of the knee and push off the ground using extension of the leg at the knee and land on top of the box with flexion in your knee. For the cool down, you'll perform each stretch for one minute. If the workout says right slash left, you will do each side for 30 seconds. The first cool down is middle toe touches. This will target your hamstring, gastrocnemius, and your quad. Use flexion at the trunk and extension of your arms and reach as far as possible towards your toes. Stretch your legs for one minute. Left slash right toe touches will target your hamstrings and your quads. Abduct both your feet so that they are farther apart than your shoulders. Use extension of the arm at the elbow and reach as far as possible. Touch your toes. Stretch each leg for 30 seconds. Left slash right arm pulls are going to target your deltoids. Adduct your arm across your chest using extension of the arm at the elbow. Wrap your other arm around your chest using flexion of the arm at the elbow and pull your arm back to your chest feeling a stretch in your deltoids. Stretch each arm for 30 seconds. Left plus right leg pull are going to target your quad. Using flexion of your leg at the knee, grab your foot with your hand and pull your leg up to fill the stretch. Each leg for 30 seconds. Left slash right overhead arm pulls are going to target your triceps. Hyperextend your arm over your head and use flexion of your arm at the elbow and reach towards your lower back using your opposite hand to push your arm down towards your back to fill the stretch. You will do this for 30 seconds for each arm. Your left and right trap pulls are going to target your trapezius. Use your right hand to grab the top of your head and pull your head towards your shoulder, stretching your traps. On the opposite side, use your left hand to pull your arm towards your left shoulder and repeat this for 30 seconds on each side.
the ab stretch is going to target your internal and external obliques. Lay on your stomach on a flat surface. Extend your arms out in front of you and push it up so that your chest is off the ground. You should feel the stretch in your obliques. Do the stretch for one minute.